All right, guys, welcome to the backyard. Today we're looking at three pool cleaning robots. We're going to do the pool cleaning robot showdown. We've got three really cool brands here. We're going to take a look at each of them. So let's go through, let's look at all the features that each one of these has. Then we're going to get them in the pool and we're going to see how they clean. So for starters here, we're going to look at the BeatBot. This is the AquaSense 2 robot. You can see here, this is a battery-powered one. So we have two battery-powered ones and then one corded robot to kind of look at. Here on the front, we have our mode selection. So we can do floor or floor and walls, where it's going to scrub the water line, wall, and the floors. Our power button. Here's kind of the exhaust jet here from the, the basket, where it's exhausting the water out. Let's take a look at the basket here. And the basket is a simple one-piece basket that pulls out. It's got a nice handle on it. it. has a really fine mesh filter on it. goes in there really easily. comes out nice and easy. Now this AquaSense 2 has these nice rollers. There's four, there's four of them. Two on, two on each side. This is going to help it navigate the pool as it hits the corners, the edges. It's going to help kind of guide it around so it's not going to get stuck in the corners, which some of these can do that. So a few of the things it comes with, it does have its uh, owner's manual, instruction manual in this booklet here. It has a nice pull hook. You hook this onto your pull, pull and you can pull it out of the water. So it would simply, when it's, when it's in the water, you can pull it up like that. One thing unique with the BeatBot is it does have return to surface technology where it's going to come up to the surface. It's going to exhaust all the water out of it and it's going to sit, it's going to park itself at the surface so that way it's really easy to get out. Now it has a very large battery, can run up to four, almost four hours of run time when it's in the pool. It has these nice cleaning bristles on the bottom here. These nice tracks are going to help it move around the pool. Here's are the, these little tabs here on the bottom are the charging ports. So when you have it on the stand here, it's touching this and this, this base plugs in and it's going to charge. It takes about four and a half, five hours to fully charge it up and then it's going to run for almost four hours. So it's got a great battery life and easy to charge with just setting it on the base here. This is the Dolphin Premier. This is our only corded model in this comparison. It does have a nice core length of cord, but there is an advantage, I think, to the battery-powered ones is you don't have to navigate or deal with the long cord being stretched throughout your pool. But this does have some nice features. It does do a good job at cleaning the pool. Now, one thing unique with this Dolphin one is the filter filtering uh, compartment is down here on the bottom, and we pull these tabs. You can pull this out. Now it has three diff different types of filters that you can apply depending on the needs of your pool. Like this is the fine nano filter. It's going gonna, it's gonna to get the really fine dirt, dust, pollen. It's going to get that out of the pool. It's going to be very effective with doing that. So you've got four of those. Or you can swap these out and put a standard filter. And then it also has a leaf bag that you can put in here to get a lot of large debris out of the pool. Now with this being a corded model, it does have like a power station here that we plug in. So we plug this into an extension cord, we run this on our pool deck, and then the end of the cord is going to connect into here. And then we can control this right here on the control panel. Now this can clean the water line, so it can do the walls, the water line, the floor with these scrubbing bristles here. You can also set weekly timers through the timer box. So you can set the weekly schedules with that, have it come on certain times throughout the week. That would be one advantage to having a corded model is you don't have to take it out and charge it. It can be in the pool and run its weekly schedules. This is the Iper Scuba X1 robot cleaner. This is battery powered. It has a four plus one cleaning mode. One thing unique with it is it has this filter basket with a micro mesh ultra fine filter which is a secondary filter to help filter out the unseen particles, very fine particles of the water. So you can run that with the standard filter or you can insert the micro mesh into the standard filter and you're gonna have double, double the cleaning capability. So it does have five cleaning modes where it goes floor only, walls only, water line, scrubber, the scheduled app based mode. It also has a Wave 3.0 navigation, OmniSense and ultrasonic obstacle avoidance. So it's gonna help navigate the pool. It's not going to get stuck. Now the battery on this lasts about three hours and it's going to take about, about four hours to recharge. This has a similar docking system. When these contacts touch the base, it's going to start charging and it's got this base here. It's going to sit right on here. So charging's easy to slip right onto this base right here. See here, I've got the dolphin sitting right here. Seeing this cord wound up, this big 60 foot cord, I've got the power box and extension cord running to it. Just seeing that kind of gives me a little anxiety. I just, I've had a, a robot like this in the past. I used one for a couple of years when I first got my pool. And the, the cord is just kind of a hassle. Winding it up, 
dealing with it when it's outside of the pool, when it's inside of the pool. So it, the, having the cord and the battery and the extension cord is a challenge on this type of a robot. So I really prefer the battery style robots. For my particular cleaning needs, I keep a cover on my pool when it's not being uh, used. So it stays relatively clean most of the time. The robot that works good for my situation may not be the best for your situation. So it just depends on what your situation, what your needs are, how your pool is, how dirty it gets, is it covered. Let's talk about the suction power of each of these robots because that's going to determine how much water is going to be filtered through the filter, through the motors on an hourly basis. So the Iper is rated at 6,600 gallons per hour. The BeepBot is 5,500 gallons per hour, and the Dolphin Premier is uh, 4,500 gallons per hour. Both of the battery robots here, the Iper and the BeepBot, the AquaSense 2, have four motors, so that's really going to help with suction a lot more than the Dolphin, which only has two motors. The Iper and the BeepBot have easier fil filter compartments to get to. The lids just pop open, like the BeepBot does that. The Ipers just lift up like that. The Dolphin, you have to turn over, you have to flip the switches, pull it out. The filter elements you have to take out in order to clean it. The BeatBot has probably the easiest one to clean when it comes to just popping it out, spraying it out with having that one filter element. And the filter mesh element does clean the water very well, so it's not leaving behind the, the very fine dirt. It's collecting that as well. Also, one thing to note, if you need a more heavy-duty filter for the BeatBot, you can call customer service and they can send you out a more heavy-duty filter to help filter out the very fine partic particulate matter out of your pool. Now let's talk about the price of each of these robots and how they compare. Both the Iper and the BeatBot are very similarly priced. And if we look online right now, and the average price of both of these robots come in around $1,100 US dollars. Now there can be some slight difference in pricing depending on the time of year and on, on which website you look, but that was about the average cost. The Dolphin Premier's average cost was just over $1,500. So the Dolphin Premier is four to $500 more expensive than the two battery-powered robots. Now, when it comes to actually cleaning the pool, per the performance in the water, the Scuba X1 and the Dolphin Premier clean the water line with horizontal motions, which looks impressive. However, the AquaSense 2 uses a vertical approach, scrubbing the water line twice in a single pass, delivering deeper and more effective cleaning performance. The BeatBot AquaSense 2 and the Iper X1 feature dual active brushes for better control and scrubbing efficiency. Also, the BeatBot AquaSense 2 and Iper Scuba X1 feature four brushes, twice as many as the Dolphin Premier, offering greater scrubbing coverage with front and rear brushes that operate independently and at different speeds thanks to a differential control. They deliver deeper cleaning and sharper maneuverability unlike the Dolphin's non-active brushes. Now when it comes to navigating throughout the pool, both the BeatBot AquaSense 2 and Iper Scuba X1 feature advanced navigation systems with more sensors and efficient S and N-shaped cleaning patterns. This ensures better coverage, reduces missed spots and overlaps, unlike the Dolphin Premier, which relies on random navigation that's generally less efficient. Now both the Iper and the BeatBot feature five cleaning modes. The Iper offers the added benefit of an independent waterline cleaning mode and a scheduling option. Now while the BeatBot AquaSense 2 includes waterline cleaning as part of its wall cleaning mode, which works pretty well, it doesn't offer scheduling. However, the AquaSense 2 does provide a more customizable cleaning experience by allowing users to set select specific areas and number of cleaning cycles. Additionally, the AquaSense 2 includes a specialized mode designed to better handle complex pools with curved bottoms, large steps, or even platforms. Now, when it comes to the category of ease of use, I place a lot of weight on how much I like the robot as to how easy it is to use. How easy does it make my pool cleaning routine? The Iper has some good features. The Scuba X1 has all of the cleaning mode buttons on the outside, so there's no need to open up the app. If I just want to do waterline only, I can push that button, and it has that. The Iper is more difficult to fish out of the pool. You have to use the included hook, and the area to hook onto is narrow and can take some time to find when it's at the bottom of the pool. The Dolphin Premier is the most inconvenient to use. Managing the cord having to set up the power box on the pool deck, having an extension cord laid out across my pool deck, 
winding the cord up each time I take it out and, and out of the pool, getting the plug wet. I've even had the plug get wet and it's tripped my GFCI breaker, so I've had to go reset that. So it's just more difficult in that regard. Because the Dolphin Premier is inconvenient to use, I'd find myself not wanting to use it, therefore cleaning the pool less. The BeatBot AquaSense 2 is the easiest to use of the three pool cleaners. Its return to surface and water discharge feature, where it floats on the surface for easy retrieval, is a game changer. My kids can easily get this out of the water when they want to swim and place it on the charging dock. The filter basket is easy to clean. The power and mode buttons on the top are easy to access and to use. And having one more hour of runtime than the Iper makes a difference. The AquaSense 2 has an automotive grade IMR coating on the outside that helps reduce scratches and UV damage and will help keep it looking new. It also has a three-year full replacement warranty, whereas the Iper has only a two-year warranty. Now, when comparing all of these robots, I'm looking at which one's going to be the best value. So which one's going to be the best value for the money that I'm paying for it, which one's going to clean my pool the best, and which one's going to be the easiest to use and make my pool cleaning routine as easy and convenient as possible. And for me, the winner for the, out of all these categories is going to be the BeatBot AquaSense 2. Now, compared to the Dolphin corded model, the BeatBot just offers that cord-free convenience, also has a better value when it comes to cost and features that we're getting. And compared to the Iper, it provides stronger performance, more consistent wall cleaning, higher build quality, along with the return to surface feature, which really is a must-have, and I really couldn't live without that feature. So guys, thanks for watching the video. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button. See the links to these robots in the description down below, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.